um, the rise of China, the Chinese Renaissance, should not mean and does not mean the fall of the United States. This is not a game and it's certainly not a zero-sum conclusion. Our view is that um, China and America owe it both to themselves, to their opposite number, and to the world to get along. Because if they do get along, everyone can benefit. And if they do not get along, they will suffer, but the rest of the world will suffer too. We have found, our experience has been in screening this film in the West, that um, certainly in the United States, the pervasive um, um, philosophy or approach to China is that China is a threat, that China is dangerous, and that uh, anyone who is an apologist for China is um, at best deluded and at worst a fool. We uh, respectfully disagree, but we have come under criticism because the, the, uh, the zeitgeist is such right now that if you are not making an anti-China film, if you're not making a film like um, Death by China, that was a film made by Peter Navarro, who is uh, on uh, President Trump's staff, if you're not making a film like that, which attacks China, there is no middle ground. There's no place in the middle where you can uh, honestly and objectively look at both sides and say there are strengths and there are weaknesses on both sides. Um, that piece of real estate in the journalism trade no longer exists or exists to a very, very uh, minimal amount. Um, it's not the same in Europe. We've screened in um, England uh, to very receptive audiences. And they're not anti, they're curious about China, very curious. They really don't understand what's going on, but they're not um, antipathetic. They don't hate China because they've told that China is a threat. It's, this is really, this polarization of opinion is really um, an American uh, owned um, situation. And I regret it. I don't think it's wise and I don't think it's productive. Um, and I do feel that we are um, uh, the recipients of a lot of criticism because we're not making, we're not calling out China on all the things that Americans feel China is guilty of. We have difficulty getting people to watch the film because they think they have all the answers. They think they know, they're comfortable in their uh, prejudices.